isocyanide here. This is um, uh, Rust Never Sleeps 18, I believe. The, um, the deal with this video is that uh, I'm uh, not at work today. I'm, um, I think I'm uh, having side effects from some of the meds I'm on. I'm getting, uh, I've got really sore joints and um, tired and yesterday having dizzy spells and that sort of carry on so I'm feeling pretty cack and uh, so today I'm, I'm trying to rest up and I'm, you know, moping around the house feeling sorry for myself because, you know, I'm hurting and all that sort of stuff and, and that can bring you down a bit, you, you can get into a negative headspace and and you've got to be careful about that sort of stuff. You, you can't um, you can't really afford to give yourself that luxury, you know. So I decided to pull my head out of my ass and um, just get on with getting on and uh, do a video, even though I don't really have much to show because I'm not uh, in the workshop today because I'm just not up for it. But I figure I can show you what I'm doing anyway with the cardboard and what I'm up to in the lounge and all that sort of jazz and um, the, vi the video series it is about this build and, and the, um, the fundraiser for the Cancer Society and all that sort of thing but to me it's also about life after cancer and cancer treatment and getting on with it or you know trying to show that you can get on with getting on but also with that it's not all gravy man you know I'm three years post um, treatment and I'm still dealing with this shit so it's um, what am I trying to say here don't want to sugarcoat it it's not all good either but it is what it is and um, and so that's why I thought, well, heck, even though I don't really feel like doing anything, I can't be moping around either, you know. Uh, you, you, we are the masters of our own thoughts and our own feelings, you know. That's no one else but you. You control the electrons bouncing around in here. So if you want to be a miserable mother, a miserable person, then that's what you're going to be, isn't it? So, and I don't want to be a miserable person, so even though I'm feeling that way, it's, you can choose to not. So what I'm going to do is I'll just quickly show you what I'm doing here with the, um, the cow and a few other bits and pieces on here. And um, good therapy for me and, you know, it gets a video out for you guys because I don't want to leave you hanging because it's been a while. A uh, big gap between the last few videos. So, um, yeah, I'm getting something out there and helping myself at the same time. Hopefully, if someone else is going through hard times of uh, some kind of illness and they're getting in a funk and that sort of thing, it's you can pull yourself out of it, you know, you just... You just got to pull your socks up. Everyone can build that in a bag of chips when the going's good, but when the chips are down, that's that's when you find out what you're made of. And yeah, yeah, sometimes you, if you don't feel like doing stuff, do it anyway. And before you know it, your focus has changed, and you know, things are good. I'm hurting physically right now. My joints are hurt, hurt, hurt like hell. I just took some painkillers. I haven't kicked in yet, but, you know, just talking it out on the camera, whether anyone here is on the YouTube listening or not, it's neither here nor there, it's, um, it's just a sounding board, it's getting stuff out. Anyway, on to the build, I'll show you some stuff. Alright, so, first thing, this is, can you see that in that light? I don't know how good this is, that's pretty much as flash as my plans get you know that there's the cow all it is mainly is my measurements nothing's to scale it's rough house but I got my center line and I got my measurements and that's pretty much all you need so this turns that to this 
and um, what I'll do is I'll just go and get the firewall, it's out in the garden getting its patina effect, hold on a sec so you can see uh, with the cardboard mock-up, it's a bit rough, you always fear these things out in the sheet, it's, it's okay but the distance here is about right, there's a slight rise here uh, and you've got your guy there, Jefferson That banging in the background is the dog, she's on a bone out there on the deck. So I think that's that's okay. And um, this gives me time to, uh, you know, just stare at things for a few hours, basically think about where I'm thinking I'm going to mount some electric plugs here uh, for the speaker. And uh, it also gave me time to look on the inside. It's a bit dark in there on the camera, but... Um, that's what this nail's about. I was thinking about sticking a thing up here. This is not the gear stick. The gear stick would be up there. Obviously, this would be like a big break. You know, like on those old um, farm machinery things, you know, and, and they have latches on them. So I'm thinking about that. I'll just grab the speaker. So in that cavity there is where the speaker's going to go about there. So... Oh, that's a bit whack, but what I'm thinking is the speaker's going to face out the back towards the motor. Uh, there's going to be a metal shroud around it, and uh, I'm going to put a bit of foam on either side of the speaker, black foam. Uh, the sort of stuff you get in the packaging when you buy axles from RC4 drive and that sort of thing. And then I'll paint it with a stencil. Oh, actually, I was thinking the other day I'll probably just use uh, an old comb, a big comb. That'll give me the lines. Because once that's behind mesh, it's uh, optical illusions, basically. So, I think that's going to go good. And then we get back here a bit. Use your imagination. I think that's... Yeah, I think that's going to be good. Uh, what else is going on? Um, on the inside of here, I ordered... This week I ordered some low profile servo and uh, aluminium servo mounts to go here. So I'm not in a rush to get this done because I want the servo to turn up and get that mounted first. Then I'll know where to put the hole out the side here. And um, then I can do my steering, get my steering squared away. Um, what else was I going to show you? Uh, oh yeah. The so this is that uh, drive shaft I was talking about. I might pop that out and attach that now. Actually, it's this here. One last thing I thought I'd show you is I'm not sure if you remember when I was going over parts. I had made these little horns out of the, the hubs, axial hubs, glued on to um, golfing tees because I wanted some big old air horns on the side. And I'm thinking at this stage, something kind of mounted on the side at the front here, like that. I'll paint these up, I'll patina them. But I think that might look alright too, eh? This is, this is the beauty of having this cardboard mock-up. I can just sit here at night and just get my bits and bobs out and just um, daydream a bit and decide whether I'm going to do one thing or another. So that's that really. It's only cardboard today, but uh, won't be this weekend. I've got other things I need to do. But, um, so, hmm, there might be a couple of weeks between videos. But uh, the next one I'll do, I'll do a show making this, fabricating that in steel. And uh, then I'm not too sure, oh, once I do that, I'll probably do the steering link up front. Then I might do the radiator shroud and work my way backwards. So, um, yeah, short video and not a lot to show, to be honest. Just just showing you my, my dreams and my wishes of how I'd like this to look. The other thing I've decided is, I'll, I did buy a replacement engine block for this uh, motor. Get on this side, the light's better. 
uh, the transmission and the engine block. I was going to replace those because there's a few blemishes down there on the block uh, from welding, but there's nothing wrong with it other than a few blemishes. So I thought, no, nah, I'm going to leave it on here. This this motor tells the story of the the construction of this, and because I'm auctioning it off, and I'm hoping whoever buys it is involved in the story of why I've built this. And so I, I think it's needed to, to leave this block with this car. And I'll just use the up one in the uh, upper rat rod. So um, yeah, that's about it for today's video chaps. Cheers for uh, listening to me in here waffle and show you what I'm up to even though I'm not really up to much at all. But um, gives me something to do. Gets me, uh, getting out, gets me out of my head. So I'm going to go and edit video and post this online. And um, yeah, cheers for watching. And as always, Cancer Society fundraiser. That's what this is about. So check the links on the video or in the description. And you know, if you're that way inclined or have surplus income, please donate. Or if not, if you're saving up, this will be auctioned off once it's finished. And all the proceeds will go to the Cancer Society. Alright guys, see ya.